Oh, only one today. I'm impressed. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Chloe and today we are here with a bit of a different video. I apologise for not uploading last week because I've just been super super busy, I will explain in the video. Today we are doing a little revolution unboxing, trying out kind of. I went on their website and they had loads of new bits that I was like, oh my god, is this the day that I'm going to finally make a purchase? And it was, I did go a bit crazy but it's okay, we're going to try it all out and I will tell you what I think of the products. Right, so first thing I got was this Revolution X Jake Jamie Feed Your Face Watermelon Mask. I've been seeing this absolutely everywhere. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very Instagrammable. Instagrammable, is that the word? I'm so excited to try this. It's literally just a hydration mask. I'm then running out of my normal moisturizer. So I got the Hydration Boost Lightweight Hydrating Gel Cream. I prefer gel creams rather than moisturizers in the summer, just because they feel a lot more lightweight on your skin and it doesn't feel sweaty once you've applied them. Oh my God, it looks like Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so cold. <sighs> this is what I get for filming in 30 degree weather. Oh, it's got a little bougie little... <gasps> okay, that's not as thin as I thought it was going to be, but that's nice. So I've had my eye on this for absolutely ages and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my haul and I'm going to treat myself to this. It is a face mask brush. So on this one, it is just a normal face brush. And then this side, it's a silicone little, I guess you could say it's like a little paddle. So I just use a really manky old H&M brush when I apply all my masks. And this is going to help me out a lot. Okay. I saw these on the website and I was like, are these trying to be the Fenty glosses? I absolutely love my Fenty glosses, but I know they're not that expensive, but I still feel like if I'm gonna take it out and I lose it, it's gonna be a bit of a knock if I lose them. So these are the Shimmer Bomb Mini Collection lip glosses. There's three little colors in there. As you can see, they look very, very similar to the Fenty ones. And I just thought I'd give them a try and I wouldn't mind as much if I lost one of these on a night out or whatever. Not as if we're going on a night out, but you know what I mean. And then finally, Finally, we have a blush palette. I don't think, oh, it's called Sugar and Spice. I'm really into my blush at the moment, so I thought I would just get another palette that everyone can buy, because I have a Morphe one. I don't think it's sold anymore, so I thought I would get one that everybody could buy. Right, I'm just gonna go grab some clips for my hair, and I will be back. So I really wanna try out this face mask on a camera. So I'm just gonna open the box and then I'm gonna open the face mask as well. Apply one to two times a week, avoid eye area, allow to work for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse well. Okay. <laughs> Fruity. So I'm literally gonna use the spatula end, I guess you could call it the silicone end, and just apply this to my face. Oh, it's so gloopy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or it's just because it's hot. Oh, I shouldn't have worn white. <laughs> I want to know what the actual seeds are. Are they actually watermelon or am I just being dumb? It feels really cooling when you're putting it on your face, but now that it's like on my face, it feels quite hot. I don't know. Ah. It just looks like I'm smearing jam all over my face. I should have bought a mirror down as well, but I'm not that prepared. I think that is pretty much it. So as I'm filming this, it is actually 30 degrees and we're going through a heat wave and I don't know what else to do with my life, so I'm just filming. So yeah, let's just have a little catch up. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. I don't get much engagement on my YouTube, but I thought I would just have a little chat anyway. So what is the day today? It is Wednesday the 24th of June. So I am back at work. I have been unfurloughed. I work in retail if you don't know and I'm also back at uni so not only am I back at uni I'm also back at work and I'm also trying to create content so if I'm slower with content creation on any of my socials then that is why. I would love to know if any of you are actually back to work as well in retail because I think Boris just announced that pubs and restaurants can reopen as well so I reckon a few of you will be going back to work soon as well. My battery just died, how rude, but we've got a new battery and we're still rolling. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Um, oh yeah, I'm back to work so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Obviously with social distancing 
distancing in store but once the customers come in store there's only so many times you can tell them to stay away from each other and I guess it's personal preference if people want to ignore the rules or they want to comply by them but yeah it's pretty weird being in such a sterile environment like it's really nice to see my work friends but it's very weird having to clean every 20 minutes and wear a mask and gloves. Once this has had a bit of marinating time I also want to try out the Isle of Paradise new face serum. I actually bought this with my own money. All of this is bought with my own money by the way. Um, they literally launched this last week. I'm so excited to try it. Isle of Paradise are my absolute favourite tanning brand of all time. I use the clear mousse in light, dark and medium sometimes. Someone with olive skin anyway. I feel like it gives me a really nice glowing look. Yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about with you guys, you know. It's been a while. Recently, I have been doing some videos over on my TikTok. My TikTok is just Star by Chloe. It's the same username as all of my other socials. And to be fair, they are doing quite well. Like, some of the videos have got into the tens of thousands of views. Like, one of them's got 21.3k. I did a little Zara haul over there six days ago, but it just, just got removed for community guideline violations. And that was on about 70,000 views and it's really annoying because all I'm doing is trying to make people love their body and realise that high street sizing literally means nothing and it's been removed. But yeah, I've received some really like weird comments over there, like quite a nasty comment. Not to toot my own trumpet, but I feel like I have quite a nice online space and I don't receive a lot of nasty comments. So to receive nasty comments from people that you don't know on a different platform, it's just a bit strange. I actually can't get over how weird this face mask looks. If you guys watching this have any content that you would like to see from me on any of my socials because I'm really bad at time management at the moment, obviously being back at work and uni, I need to plan ahead quite far. So if you want to see anything from me, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you could tell me because I only really have one day a week that I can film. So if there's any specific YouTube videos you want to see from me, any specific TikTok content or any Instagram stuff you'd like to see, I would really appreciate it if you could let me know either by Instagram DM or just comment below. I know this is really random but I've been absolutely obsessed with my new slippers. <laughs> Can you see them? I really need to scrub off my tan but basically I'll take them off and show you. These are my new slippers. I ordered these about two weeks ago at the very just come. They're from Ego. I think they were only like £15, I want to say, or less than that with student discount. But I absolutely love them. I feel like such a bad bee when I wear them. And I wish I could wear them at the house. <laughs> what else has been going on in my life? I'm trying to think. Literally nothing because I'm back at work. Oh, I'd love to know if anyone's been shopping. I really, really want to go out to Primark, but all the Primarks near me have really, really bad stock anyway, so I doubt that they would be any nicer considering the current circumstances. So if you've gone shopping, let me know. I'd love to know how it is because obviously I've seen it from the perspective of being at work and serving customers, but I would love to know what it's like as a actual customer looking for new clothes. I don't know if all companies are like, but we haven't received any new delivery, so it's all stuff like like pre-pandemic people are still buying it like it's literally about to sell out so I'm not too sure what's going on there personally I don't think I'm ready to go shopping because I don't feel like it's essential for me when I can buy stuff online and fuel the economy from my own bedroom I would love to know if anyone has tried it to see what the experience is like and how it has changed <laughs> Oh, they also announced that we can get haircuts and I am so excited. Look, this is probably the longest my hair has been for a good few years, you know. My fringe is just out of control. Being Mediterranean, I have such thick, dark hair. I can't go that long without a haircut, so I am so excited to be able to go and get my haircut. This pandemic has also made me realise that life is too short and I kind of want to go blonde. I don't know, like caramel, so we will see if that happens. If I do, I will be sure to vlog it. So in terms of Instagram, since we're like allowed out again, I don't know what content I want to start taking for my feed photos because if you follow me before the pandemic you will know my feed looked like this and now it looks like this and I used to go up to London and shoot with my best friend Jess but I don't know I really enjoy my home content feed and I have got literally nearly double the followers I don't know if that's because my content's changed or because people have more time on their phones but I really enjoy my home content and I don't know how to transition back into shooting outside and shooting in London <gasps> 
It is the sewing beat final tonight as well. Oh my god, I'm actually so excited. I really, really don't know who I want to win. That's literally been like the only TV that I've been interested in recently. It is so interesting and I really don't know who I want to win. So I think this has been on for way longer than it should be. So I'm just going to go wash it off and then we can apply the self-tan serum. Public service announcement, that does not taste nice. So if it gets in your mouth, then make sure you wash it out ASAP. So let's try this high glow face serum with hyaluronic acid apply 4 to 12 drops directly on face more drops equals more tan <laughs> wash hands immediately after application so 4 to 12 i usually go for nine drops oh smells the same as all of that other stuff <laughs> and then i'm literally just gonna Make sure you get all the way up into the hairline because this stuff does go a bit orange the first time you use it. It doesn't smell that great once it has buffed in. I don't know if that's the face mask or the tan, but it doesn't smell great either way. It kind of smells like buffing. That feels so nice on my skin though. I love serums on my face. So that is that. I will post a photo over on my Instagram story if anyone wants to see the before and after. I can't go over that smell. It's not a nice smell. But thank you for watching if you've made it this far through. I am very proud of you. You get a little gold star from me. I apologise that my content is a bit all over the place at the moment, obviously being back at work and uni. I find it really hard to make time for my hobby, which is creating content. I really appreciate if you have stuck around and it means a lot to me. So thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>